Welcome back. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many more of these I'm going to be able to do. My body is dying right now. <laughs> um, um, okay, so you're what? I wanted to talk about the the, the DS. Uh, the DS, yes. Yeah, yeah. The Nintendo DS is dead, as of this video, probably. It. Well, yeah, Maybe. I mean, specifically the 3DS, right? Because it's the... Well, the DS in general. Like, the yeah. DS line. Yeah, it's sad, especially since I have so many of them. You do. I forget how many you have. I have seven DSs. God, boy. Across the generations. That being said... I don't know why. <laughs> I think I have five. I think I keep buying them. I don't know. I well, might I mean, buy more. You were buying them, and then you you did stuff like buy. Um, one of them is a capture card in fairness. Yeah, 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 which is good. It's super useful. Yeah. Um, uh, one of them is a 2DS that you bought on a whim. Yes. And I, we just all went. Oh, guess Owen has a 2DS now. I bought it for twenty quid. Yeah, so it was a steal. Best twenty quid I've ever spent, honestly. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll stick with that. Are you, are you sure you want to go with? Best 20 quid you've ow, ever spent? Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. I can float. Sorry. Well, I bought a box of condoms once, and that probably saved me a lot of money in the long run. So, yeah. <laughs> Actually, maybe it wasn't. Honestly. <laughs> that might have been the best 20 quid I ever spent. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, really. <laughs> in, in, like, in comparison, like, 2DS or not <laughs> having a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would go with not having a kid, personally. Oh, go with whatever, that, whatever floats your boat. Best 20 quid I never spent. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, it's a shame that it's shutting down. Um, just because there's like a lot of stuff people now won't be able to buy. Um, a load of digital content is disappearing. Yeah. And it's probably not disappearing because there's probably like a media preservation pro project going for Oh, there it. are. Yeah. Um, and I've preserved a lot of the stuff that I've um, bought as well. So. Yeah, I've. Shit I've, goes to shit then. I've backed up a load of. Pretty much everything I ever bought digitally is is backed up on a on an SD card on my DS now. Yeah. And uh, it might it's probably too late to recommend this to people, but if you haven't, do it. Yeah. Uh, you should. If you if you missed out on it, lol, sorry. Mm. Uh, should have been watching Sastroid earlier. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should have watched an should've, episode that hadn't been released. Yeah. Yet. yeah, yeah. I mean, should have anticipated this. I mean, people have been talking about it for... I, I remember the first... Two years. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. remember when people started they, talking about it, like, two years ago. In fairness, they gave us two years warning. Yeah. Um, or at least, like, 18 months. I'm glad that they... Uh, whilst they're getting rid of the eShop, they're not getting rid of the online services, because you can yeah. still use, like, Pokemon Bank Well, they're and just stuff. making Pokemon Bank free, which yep. is a really good... Yeah, which is great. Because, uh, yeah, I was genuinely worried that... Pokemon Bank was going to be dead, and then there was no way to transfer Pokemon out. I mean, that was the reason why I ended up getting my, um, like, um, living decks done so quickly, is because yeah. I thought that they might not do. Yeah, and then but they, they were like, they were nah. like, no, actually, we're going to just keep it. We're just going to make it free, but you need to download it before this date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You um, need to download you, it from the eShop which, before. Which, yeah, also means that if you want the Poke Transporter, you need to download that as well. Yes. From the bank homepage before it goes offline. Yeah, I mean... It's fine, because as long as you've got them installed, they won't take them away from you. For me, like, I'm... Yeah, it's sad that it's all going, but I'm actually kind of happy that this might almost... Uh, basically, it's going to it's gonna cause so much, like, fan annoyance that Nintendo kind of will have their hand forced in terms of, like, releasing some of the stuff again. Yeah, there, there's going to be, like, remasters of stuff and... Like I'm, or, or they're gonna have to. I mean, they just announced the 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 Game Boy emulator, so yeah, I'm very much looking forward to. It. I'm glad that they did that because, and I think they did it for a very good reason. Yeah, because we will end up getting Game Boy and Game Boy Advance Pokemon games. Oh yeah, yeah, come. they're gonna port the Pokemon games. They kind of can't afford not to. Yeah, I mean, it's a money making scheme. I, it's I, gonna make them so much money. Um, I can't remember what it was. I think. The Pokemon Virtual Console games on the DS were the best-selling games on the Virtual Console. They they were um, regularly on like the best-selling eShop lists, and they were also. I think they still are. Yeah, they they were also um, the most in terms of how much they were. It's like ten pounds per Pokemon game. Yeah, I need to pick up Crystal before the shop goes offline. Actually, mm. now I think about it, so that I can have Celebi. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, that's like the only one I'm... Oh, it's one of the hardest mythics to get anyway. <laughs> yeah, uh, the other way also... of getting it easily is um, Pogo. Yeah, but I, I don't play Pogo enough. True. True. I'm, I'm good. Um, I did do that trick to get a load of the um, black and white events mm. uh, recently, so I do now have Victini. Ah, nice. Um, and a couple other, you know, event Pokemon. I got a shiny Giratina now. Oh, cool. So again, before Aaron. <laughs> he's such a loser. Can't yeah. believe he's taking so long to do that. I, I do have a, a shiny um, Gen 4 Legendary Trio now. Because of those, they rolled out those events in black and white. Yeah. And I, I cheated to get them. But in a like a in a reasonable way, in that the servers are still up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I didn't like action replay them in or anything. But. Yeah, for sure. So they are legit because they won't get taken out by um, Pokemon Home either because they will register as legit event Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it was bound to happen in the end. Yeah, they need, they need the server space. Quite honestly, they do need the server space. <laughs> Some of the online stuff Nin Nintendo for doing the Switch is a little <laughs> janky. Yeah, um, to say the least. Yeah. Adam could talk for hours about it. I won't, because I don't understand it. <laughs> I also don't play online on the Switch. That's what other consoles are for. Yeah. That's not what the Switch is for me, really. Yeah, it's cool to, like, you know, jump in every once in a while. Like, I like the um, the stuff that they did with Scarlet and Violet. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I'm not... I didn't spend... And I'm not going to spend... 300 hours doing the multiplayer. No, 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 no. For sure, be sure. Yeah, can't be too long until we'll get the um, Pokemon DLC announced. Um, it's Pokemon Day soon, isn't End it? End of this month, yeah. So it, it'll get announced then. I, I'm thinking. I mean, you guys will all know by that point, but we don't know. We don't we're know right now. In the we're in the past. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah, and then we'll finally see if it's confirmed whether or not Kalos is real. Kalos is real. Yeah. Um, Pokemon Day is February the twenty seventh. Oh, okay. So. Like two weeks? Yeah, it's not too long. Neat. I will be. Wait a minute. Asleep. <laughs> oh, I'll I be... probably will be. I am um, that weekend. I'm in Paris. Oh, you are, aren't you? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm there from. Well, I'm only really there on Friday. I get back on Saturday, so that we can play D and D on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, I. That's a, so. Twenty seventh is a Monday. Mm-hmm. I think I'm doing returns that week because uh, it's the week after the show. You know, but like, Highness, it, like I I'm was really happy that the, the direct recently was at 10 p.m. because that meant I was going to be home for it because I really wanted to watch it. The Pokemon I'm not so fussed about. Yeah, I'll probably stream it. Yeah, uh, depending on what it is. I'll be busy returning stuff that we used on the show, putting them back in the right place and stuff. But mm. also, if it happens at like 2 p.m., I'm like, okay. Yeah, it was a lot of fun streaming the direct. Actually, I had quite a few people yeah, along I, for it. I didn't make it because um, I got home late and then was like, I'm just going to boot this up and make this a vlog. Yeah, yeah. It's so because I didn't really have anything else for the vlog that day. Yeah, there was some other good stuff on there. I was in, I was impressed with it in general. Yeah, I thought it was a pretty stacked lineup. I mean, the, the, the Xenoblade stuff, I went nuts for, but mm. it's only really if you understand it. I want to look back on the stream that I did for it, because I think I, like, uh, like, like, correctly predicted within the first two seconds of every trailer exactly which game it was. Yeah. Like, with a fair few of them. It was, I thought it was quite good. I was like... As soon as it started, I went Pikmin, and it was. I, I did that. I was like, this looks like it could be Pikmin, and then it was immediately Pikmin. Mm. Which and is what funny was the other cause... one? Metroid. Metroid was the other one I got. I was like, <gasps> and then Adam was coming in the chat. He was, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, Met, the, the just shadow him. release Metroid Prime. Yeah. yeah, no, that was that was cool. I'm down. I might pick that up. I might do as well, actually. Physical, because it's out now digitally, but I might wait. I don't have time at the moment. Yeah, it's like physical it. end of the month or yeah, early yeah. March. Yeah, so. I want to play much. I, it has actually coincided with me going, hmm, I kind of want to play the Prime games again. <laughs> well, I said to Adam that we'll be playing it on Sastroid at some point. Yeah, I thought we sh we should probably should. Mm. I mean, Metroid Prime is one of the best Metroid games of all time anyway. Yeah. 
Plus, it's like, you know, it's giving fans hope until the next one comes out. Metroid Prime 4 is going to come out. It's just a question of how long. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, I mean John made so a joke. Far. John made a joke that they were just going to release re remasters of every single Prime game until 4. Yeah. Like, every year, you just get another one, which means it's going to be another four years. I don't think so. I personally think, oh, I was saying on the chat the other day, it was is that, like, 4 feeds more into 1 than it does 2 and 3. Yeah. So they're re-releasing 1. Or it could just be, here, all the new people that like Dread, here's what Metroid Prime is like, so that you'll all play 4. Wait, was it? Yeah, I, it was. It was 2017 that uh, Prime 4 was announced. Was it the year the Switch came out I that they announced so, it? I think so, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> That's not good. That's insane. Um, we did all of those. So, like... Oh, dude! Chameleon or Elephant, or... How long have we got left of the episode? Um, we've got... About eight minutes. Maybe we can get started on one. Sure, yeah. yeah. Might as well head over to one. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go do the Chameleon. Uh, why not? Yeah. Million day. Give it a go. Yeah. Have a Kit Kat. Yeah. Um, stuff's going down at Nintendo at the moment. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Don't know. Don't know. It'll be fine. I did. I was um, slightly put out mm. by the fact that. I had spent all the time that I did very recently um, making uh, Oracle of Ages work. <laughs> Just for it to be released on Switch Online, yeah. yeah making it work and like um, putting it down for um, like writing down the code and stuff. And then they were like, oh, would you like to play it on Switch Online? I'm like, God fucking damn it. Yeah. I was trying to play it and make it look the best with the emulator I had, and now I'm just going to end up playing Seasons on Switch Online. So, fine. remember that time a long time ago where you said, uh -oh. maybe we should get a family thing, and then we just split it between the boys? Yeah, I was going to bring that up I think we should again. do that. I, I think, because it was always a matter of, like, we should do that anyway, but we're waiting for it to be worth it. It's now worth it. I think it's now worth it for the GBA. Yeah. Which also gives me another way to play the Minish Cap. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, I think it's it's worth it now for the for the family discount. Fun fact, mm -hmm. in case you didn't, I think we've done this. We talked about this on the on on the show before. Yeah, I almost said on the vlog before. Um, but if you would like Nintendo Switch Online expansion pass, but thirty pounds a month is too much for you, because it is. Um, is it thirty quid a month? It's. I don't think it's thirty quid, but it, it's like extortion. It's. For what it is, it's a lot. It's like 20 to 30 a month. Yeah. Um, if you don't have that much money to spend a month on video games, which is completely fair, um, look at the family plans, and it actually costs less to have a family plan and split it between your friends um, than it does to just get it. Yeah, so Let's have a look. The expansion pack. Uh, cool. Show me the thing. Show me the money, bitch. It's not working. Yeah. Plus, it will like it. It will give like all the DLC and stuff for other things. It like. gives free DLC for stuff. Um, the Mario Kart then stuff then becomes free. Uh, the Animal Crossing stuff, which I already have, becomes free. Uh, yeah, but you don't choose. have it, so it would be free for you, which would be neat. Okay. Right. So. For a single account individual membership, it's £34 for 12 months. Uh, yeah, okay. It's right, so it's £34 for a year. Yeah. Which um, actually is It's not is as reasonable. bad as I thought it was. Yeah, maybe I misread I think it. I pay, like, every three months. I think I pay a lot of money for it, actually. I, I pay every 12 months, but I think it's, like, 20 quid, maybe? Yeah. So maybe it's only it, yes, it's, um, it's £18 for 12 months. Yeah, so I only pay 18 So, yeah, it's almost double what you're already paying for for 12 months which is like mm. yeah so a family membership is 60 quid for the year and it's up to eight accounts yeah which then like between the five of us or actually let's be honest because aaron doesn't use his switch anymore between the four of us is like 
20 quid a year. Yeah. Which is two pounds more than what I'm currently paying. Cool. I'm down. And we get all the benefits. And then Nintendo thinks we're a family. I'm now having a look to see whether... What... Um we have to do to make you a family. I think we'd then just say these accounts are family accounts. Yeah. We apply to your Nintendo account family group, enabling Nintendo accounts in that group to enjoy. Okay. Yeah, so we just add ourselves into a group. It does mean that whoever starts it then also has the power to parental controls people. But that's I very think. funny. I'm gonna <laughs> put I'm gonna put parental controls on Aaron's Switch. <laughs> Every time he plays it. Love it. I think it enables you to remote, like, turn off uh, eShop purchases, I think. <laughs> oh, dear. Nah. That's chill. Yeah. Okay. I might even consider just doing the yearly plan for myself anyway, even if other people don't want to. But. I definitely want to go... I, I definitely want to go splitsies on the on the family plan. Because it's cheaper for everybody, or about the same price as it normally would. Yeah. Even um, if it was just me and you, it'd be like four pounds cheaper than if we did it individually. Yeah, I mean, I'm uh, yeah, I'm down. Even if it's just us, just us and the Sastro account. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. We could just throw it on there for free. I, we could actually do that, and then it can actually have cloud saves. Yeah, if we have, yeah, because if, if it's up to eight accounts and there's only five of us in our group. Yeah. Yeah. We could put that on there for yeah. Sastroid could have its own designate Sastroid as a child. <laughs> Ban all purchases. <laughs> you may use our purchases. You're not allowed to use... You're not allowed to play games over a 15. <laughs> Why can't we launch it? Fuck! <laughs> oh, shit! We turned off game playing. <laughs> we made this, it a brick. Why does this keep happening? <laughs> <laughs> Just the game, sh like, shuts off after two hours of recording. What happened? Oh, we put a restriction on saying that you can do we'll more than two time. hours at a time. <laughs> You've run out of game time. I wanna... Can you imagine? Like halfway through me and Adam recording, you're just like, and game restriction one hour, and the game just stops. Yeah. Well, I guess that's the session done for today. Hey, well, I mean, we could also do some virtual console stuff. Yeah, true. On, on the Sasteroid. Do some virtual console um, Mario Kart. Mario Kart Super Circuit. Yeah. On the GBA. I still have my um, my cartridge of that. It's over here. I never played it. You know what? I didn't have a Game Boy. Oh. Well then. I I had a I had an original PlayStation until the DS Lite came out. Oh. Fair enough. Yeah, I was I was big into books. Hmm. Not video games. Like, video games were, like, a cool, fun thing to do on the weekends, but I was, like, reading books and shit. And then we got a Wii, and all of that went out the window. <laughs> I, um, I'm actually just about to buy another book. Holy fuck! Yeah, I'm- You read uh, a book? Yeah, I'm- I'm buying, um, The Fall of, uh, Gondolin. Oh, fair. Yeah, because you're reading the, the Fall of Numenor. Yeah, I, I haven't got very far yet, but I feel like I'm gonna get through it very quickly when I finally, like, properly sit down and do it. Fair. I read, like, a, a little bit at a time, as, like, a pastime. Fair. I, f I, need to, uh, I need to get back to reading my books. Yeah, I found it's, like, a much healthier way of doing something that isn't scrolling through fucking Instagram or TikTok. God. You have strong feelings about this, don't you? Yeah, I do. Big time. <laughs> um, I, um... Yeah, I, I need to get back to reading, like, the Silmarillion and stuff. Mm, yeah, because you're reading that at the moment. Yeah, yeah. I took a big break, because, like, it's interesting. Yeah. But if I read, if I have it on in the car on the way home after a long day, I will fall asleep. Mm. And I, falling asleep at the wheel is not a good idea. No, not, not a good idea. Bad idea. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of bad ideas, thanks for watching this episode of Sastroid. Oh, neat. Flawless segue. Um, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.